Hello and welcome to Woofboxing, the channel all about the Woofbox. Today we're going to look at how to sequence external gear using the MIDI out on the Woofbox. The first thing you're going to need is a TRS-2 MIDI cable. Now there are two types of these, they're type A and type B. The one that works with the Woofbox is type A. So you plug it into the MIDI out port right here and then you plug it into the MIDI cable going to your external gear. In our case, we are using the Yamaha MU5. Yeah. And you'll notice that today we don't have our trusty little overlay. Well, let me show you why. When you're working with external MIDI gear, you actually want to turn off MIDI mirror. MIDI mirror is a feature that sends out all the MIDI information required for the Woof Connect software to display what you're doing on the overlay. So today we're going to turn that off. You do it in song mode by holding right, clicking the encoder to enter the context menu, and clicking until you see mirror device. Press and hold, and then it will say off. So now your woof box will just send out regular MIDI data. While we're at it, let's just actually initialize this song. Boom. So now let's start with the chords. And you can see that right now when I hit buttons, nothing is happening. The first thing is I don't actually have any audio coming out of the woof box because we're only going to use the MU5. But the MU5 is not making any noise either. You can see that it does if I play with it, but when I hit the keys, nothing is happening. That's because you have to set the MIDI out channel and you do that into the global page. So navigate to the global page by turning the encoder to the right two pages, and then it is going to be key eight. So you hold it down and I'm gonna go for channel one. And now I'm triggering the chords on the Yamaha. Okay, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> this is an example. Let's just go with it and see where we get. So now let's navigate over to our bass track and let's set the MIDI channel and let's go with MIDI channel two. So as you can see now, when I hit the pads, we are triggering um, MIDI channel two and a little bit of MIDI channel one. That's because this is chord follow mode. Let's just put in some trigs. I think my chords are just a little too much, so let's uh, let's calm that down. All right, so now we have our bass and our chords. Let's go to track three, and we're gonna go to MIDI channel three. As you can see, this is kind of self-explanatory at this point. So sometimes you're gonna get stuck notes like this. And unfortunately, the only way to fix that is just to turn off the device and then turn it back on. It's pretty rare, but it does happen. And it usually happens when you're overlapping notes, so. See, there you go. If you just kind of bang on the keyboard, you can get it to happen. All right, so for this one, I'm just gonna go to five. No, let's go to six. There you go, this is a drum kit, and then um, the kits are lower, so I'm going to transpose that. Lower. That's a kick right there, but let's go lower. Oh my gosh, that's so 80s, let's do it. Boom, ch boom, boom, ch. Now let's talk about a couple other things I didn't mention. Let's say that you're using external synth, but you're also using the audio on the woof box. You don't wanna hear both audios. So what you would do in that case is you would go to the global page of any tracks that you're using for MIDI and you hold key number one and you turn down the volume to zero. That's thing number one. Thing number two, 
What might happen is when you're, let's say you're in the bass track and you're auditioning the bass, it will trigger the MIDI on the chords. If you don't want that, you just need to turn off the chord follow mode. And that is in the global page as well on key number four. You just set it to off and now you see it's not triggering the MIDI. The Woofbox will also send transport information through MIDI. So you can start and stop sequencers like this one. In order for this to work, you need to make sure your sequencer is going to be receiving external MIDI clock. Now, if I wanted to sequence the synth with the Woofbox instead of the internal sequencer, then I could go into the options and I am going to disable external clock. So when I play, it doesn't receive the start signal. And then I will look at what MIDI channel this is receiving, which is five. And I'm going to go to the bass track, why not? Let's turn the volume to zero since I now have audio. Let's go to MIDI five. And let me just make sure I have mirror device off, I didn't, or I did. And there you go. Now I should be able to sequence Typhon with, there you go. And that is it for sequencing external gear using the MIDI out port. Now this has 16 tracks, each one of them sending MIDI, so you can technically sequence 16 different synthesizers. You'll just need either a MIDI through box or you can use synthesizers with a MIDI through option. Thank you so much for being here and ciao, ciao.